Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Musings and Monologues. For the last several weeks, we've been deliberating upon and debating upon various issues, ideas and events that have impacted us, affected us, governed us or even confronted us in our daily ritual of existence. But we are left speechless, wordless, at the onslaught of Cyclone Amphan in the eastern part of India, more specifically in West Bengal. It has also happened in Bangladesh, but that is a different country, a different situation. What we know of what has happened in West Bengal is more direct for us as we see it regularly on television and hear from anecdotes recollected by our near and dear ones and friends from West Bengal, most specifically from Calcutta and its surrounding. The majestic monopoly of Calcutta has been vanquished. It has been left totally speechless post the thunder and the cyclone that has affected it in its very root. It is said that such a cyclone, such a disaster, natural disaster of this dimension has not happened. In the last 283 years of the history of West Bengal. So you could well imagine the enormity of it. But surprisingly enough, the larger part of the country seems to be uninvolved and uninterrupted in its thoughts, given the context of what has happened in West Bengal. As a Bengali, of course, I take special interest because Calcutta is the city of my origin. It is a city where I was born and bred in. I have been a guest of Mumbai for the last 16, 17 years. But before that, the majority of my life was spent in Calcutta. And I am told about several areas that I know like the back of my palm in Calcutta, which have been rendered totally dysfunctional in these last five or six days. They have been without electricity, without water, without good internet connection, very bad mobile telephony. So there, there is no connect to the outside world, no realization of the own destruction that has happened in its immediate origins, as there is no proper telecast also to relive the horrors of that experience vicariously through television exposure. That is something which we as Bengalis outside the state are more attuned to and more interested in and want to urge the rest of India to actually engage itself for a moment. It is as big as the Latur uh, earthquake. It is as big as any disaster that has struck the body politic of India. In this case, body politic of West Bengal. That is the microscopic reality. I have heard several tales of how fishermen have gone hopeless, homeless on the edges of the Bay of Bengal. Their houses on television reports we see have been totally left displaced. There is no house of those people who sold their wares on the sea beaches. They have been left without even a basic roof or even a wall to surround and comfort them in their moments of panic. That is the reality which largely people in West Bengal are grappling with. That is the reality to which our attention should be focused on in the immediate context. And that is where our attention needs to go. How can we as mere individuals help and contribute towards amelioration of the situation that exists in West Bengal today. It was like adding salt to injury, accentuating the pain, accentuating the pain much more further than what a lockdown or a pandemic could cause for lives of contained individuals. Those contained individuals are now rendered helpless and we need to support them. Let us contribute in our own humble way, 
towards the restoration of the normalcy of life or what could be called even a pathetic attempt at regaining that normalcy. Let us contribute in our own individual capacities very little amounts towards the cause which can help West Bengal survive again. Please do contribute and do share your opinions about the context which I have related to you, whether you feel it is important enough in the larger Indian macro reality. That is the thought I leave you with today. Have a wonderful day and do contribute for the Amphan cyclone victims. Thank you.